Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you this new boat that I made. It's actually an attack boat. I think it's classified as a corvette. This is the USS Cayman. Yeah, like the, you know, the small crocodiles that exist in South America. But yeah, this thing is an attack boat, right? It's also a support boat. It is very fast, it can reach 70 meters per second and it is mostly missile, it's a missile boat mostly, right? It has a small APS cannon back here that shoots uh, hash and heat, right? And it's actually an auto cannon, so it shoots a lot of shells but uh, the shells are kind of slow, so it's kind of, you know, kind of like a grenade launcher basically and then we have some uh, MLRS in the front and at the back. And we also have some cruise missiles that are shoved in the uh, boat itself. We also have some VLS, top-down VLS, right? And we also have some defenses. And as, as you can see, I mimicked pretty much everything. And over here, you can, you can barely see it, but this is actually... Uh, lamp system. We have the lamp system here, and we have also have some lamp systems over here. They're all all mimicked, right? Because I want to make this boat as beautiful as possible. And right now, it's just cruising along, but I'm gonna show you what this thing is uh, capable of. So, as you might know, I don't like to test against the Marauder. But I I like to test against something a bit bigger, right? So actually, let's uh, give it full speed first. I'm going to show you how much speed it can gain. Well, it's not very choppy, right? But uh, it should gain around 60, 70 meters per second quite easily. We have three pop uh, propellers here. Oh, we also have some torpedoes. I forgot about that. Yeah, this thing is like a, an all-rounder, right? And it's mostly a support boat. And somehow I have the effects of the propeller here, I need to remove them. There we go. So we're reaching 74 meters per second. With these uh, weather conditions, which is pretty good. As you can see, it bounces a little bit. But that's normal. Um, it is just shy of 300,000 uh, materials, I mean. And as you can see, I don't have a lot of... Uh, weapon storage or ammunition storage so i breadboarded the missiles so that they actually slow down their shooting basically when you know i'm running out of ammunition so that they that the ammo basically replenishes what i mean anyway let's give this thing a test so this thing actually have a new breadboard in this thing i'm gonna show you i have a new dodging system ah, turn off the is there i have a new active projectile avoidance right this one takes account of the bearing of the enemy and then you know kind of calculates where it has to dodge but uh, it's not very accurate still because it's not you know not intelligent dodging like when you have a plane yeah for you know i mean for uh, for ships i mean this is fine it should be fine but yeah, this is what I used on my Meko uh, speedboat. Also check that out my workshop, my Steam workshop. So I also have a smoke generator here. This one kicks in when the uh, ship is going 25 meters per second, right? But yeah, I have some active PID. It also changes the behavior depending on the distance. So you can actually circle or charge depending on where the enemy is so this thing will always stay on point with the enemy right let's give it a test oh i forgot to show you the interior of the bridge so this is the interior right here we have some animations and stuff but uh later on i might fill this even more right now this is how it looks and i'm not sure why but the display panels don't work you know the ones that show uh, stuff you know gauges where's the ground forward speed no speed it doesn't work at all 
This used to be a, a cool feature for the game, but it doesn't work now. Hmm. Anyway, let's test that again. So I'm testing the defenses, right? Let's see. I'm gonna test it against the crossbows, obviously. No idea, crossbones completely missed me. Lasers are working, but I'm not sure about the lamps. So as you can see, the this APS has two shells. The green one is the hash, and the red one is the uh, heat. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, it works. Got hit a little bit, I think. A tiny tiny hit. Oh, and this APS also acts as a sea whiz, but it's not that great. So as you can see, it kind of deletes most of the cram from the crossbones while it's standing still, right? It's not, it's not moving at all. That's alright. Got a, got a big hit there, but there's nothing there anyway. So as you can see, the armor is okay. Not that great. But like I said, this is more like a, an all-rounder. So now, we'll try wood speed. And... You can fight. Now it's going to be a lot different, because I have speed and I can dodge. So, 56 meters per second right now. It's going close. It's going close. Oh, did you see that? I kind of dodged those, uh, those cram there. One thing that I don't like is that the lambs just keep shooting. Uh oh. Got hit in the front. I think my lambs got damaged there. Yep. What is it doing? Not going full speed. Hello? I don't know what, what it's doing right now. Good dodge. Okay, now, now it's going full speed. I kind of wasted all those missile interceptors there. So I actually have two lamps systems. They're they're basically divided, right? I'm gonna show you. So I got one here in the front, and then I got one here at the back. But they are basically connected by a transceiver, right? Then we got a ton of engines. We have a lot of engines, right? I actually need to experiment more with like steam engines because I think steam engines with uh, batteries, right? They can do like some wonderful things for for power. Ooh, okay. So okay, already seventy three percent. So the crossbones is almost dead already. So, you know, it, it does some really good damage, as you can see. But a little bit unlucky. Sometimes I don't know why the... Like, the AI behavior kind of slows down your ship. I can fix that with a breadboard, though. Like, if I can tell the breadboard to always go as fast as possible, no matter what. Actually, I have an idea. I just got an idea. Right, so I basically won that match there.
Right, so where is the bread? Over here. So, let's do something like this. Hmm, can I do this? I don't think I can do this though. Let's see. I don't think it's gonna work. I need propulsion, right? Where is it? Propulsion forward? I don't think it's gonna work. Because if I do this, it's going to slow down. Is it? Hmm. It doesn't slow down. That's quite interesting. Forward. Forward, backward. I think zero means uh, it's not being forced, but one should be forced to go forward. Should work. Uh, let's see. Oh, another crossbones here. Let's see. But it should go fast. Oh, crossbones shoot your cramp. Oh, there you go. I think it works. That should work. I'm gonna leave it like that, but uh, I'm not sure. I need to test it more. But it should give me a bit more speed. I think it works. Uh, so let's test this against something else now. Okay, let's test it against something that has APS, right? So let's see, are we good? Yep. Yeah, we're good. Let's test it against Excalibur. Excalibur is 550,000 materials. What happens here? So Excalibur has APS, so it's gonna be a lot more challenging than the crossbones. I'm sure we're doing. Let's see. Oh. So we popped a uh, small turret. Pretty good damage with the VLS there. But it's all empty compartments there. So we are at the same HP right now. Eighty one percent now. Okay. I know I just managed to pop two turrets, that's pretty good. What's happening to me? Where's the damage going? Okay, okay. Oh, it got put my sides a little bit. Okay, okay. So I can do some pretty good damage there. Another turret got popped. So as you can see it's going really really far and now it changed to charge uh, behavior basically.
right on the turret there, but uh, she's still fine. Oh, that's all heavy armor. No wonder. Rose missile. Nothing very important there though. So as you can see she's getting a bit too close so now she switches back to circle mode. But uh Scalibur kinda went through. I went through oh So this is all ammunition here, believe it or not, but uh, it's not going, not hitting it at all. The Malaris is a bit damaged and the APS is, is damaged as well, so... Not sure if I'm gonna win actually. Oh, never mind. So yeah, it does alright. Right, let's test against the bulwark now. Uh, I'm gonna check just in case. Uh, water depth is fine. Circling, turning circle is fine. Pet finding avoidance. Turning avoidance. Altitude avoidance. Yeah, I think. Fine, I'm gonna make it 5 seconds though. I think 10 is too much. Okay. Let's try against the bulwark. Not sure if I can actually win against it, let's see. Guys you think here? No! What? That is weird. Why aren't you guys working? I gonna fire is fine. To missile. Oh no. Radar? I like that. So far, so good. Check these missiles here. Okay, they're hitting now. I think the laser ma uh, the laser designator is kind of useless, but I might just keep them there for other vehicles. so good so let me show you this uh, APS cannon actually where is it oh yeah the APS cannon uh, 45 firepower right uh, what's the accuracy where's the accuracy 63% right now and as you can see it's 228 uh, rounds per minute and it's 150 millimeter so you know it's not a small shell And I'm shooting myself. So I'm doing okay against the bulwark. I barely got scratched so far. Okay, those missiles got damaged there. Let's see how the VLS is working. Working all right. They're good with fuel, and it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And we pop the turret. Comes the torpedoes. Oh, this one kind of missed.
So it likes to go a bit close sometimes, as you can see. Oh, we got damage there. And I think the cruise missiles are damaged for sure. I got shot there. Quite unfortunate. Because that's my like my main weapon on this thing. This guy's working correctly. Yeah they are. Definitely are. Twenty-eight percent. Oh no, okay, never mind, never mind. Cruise missiles are still working, just the decoration just got damaged there. Yeah, I might, I might have to remove those laser markers. Not going full speed ahead though. Like there's engine power there that it, that uh, you can use. Avoiding the torpedoes right now. Oh. That is strange. What the heck's going on? What is that? That must be a bug, right? Like it has two warheads or something. Let me check that. That must be a bug or something. What are you doing? I would like to select... There you go. See? Oh, it's fine. That's a visual bug. So, battle work almost, almost, almost dead. And as you can see, when the ammo is almost depleted, right? kind of slows down the missile fire rate just a little bit so you don't when you have missiles right you don't need to like cover all your ship with ammo storage just get like 75 percent of what you need and then just slow down the missile fire rate and as you can see when it uh, fills up again just fire them all Here we go again. Oh, they're going crazy. So, no engine on the ball work. The engines are in here. I don't know where the engine is. But I'm guessing it's somewhere inside. Like, prop oh, there, oh, there they are. Oh, they're not working. Strange. Yeah, sixty-four percent. The bottom work is pretty much done. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like. It helps a lot. By the way, thank you for the two thousand subscriptions, right? Or subscribers? That's what I mean. I'm gonna still uh, keep going with. You know, from the depths and stalker for now. I'll do some zomboid uh, gameplay footage as well because zomboid is a very interesting game, right? And uh, bottle work is still floating. I don't know why. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like, like always. And I'll see you for more from the depths. Bye. Thank you for watching.